All right, we've got three distinct shapes here. Ignore this for now. Uh, we've got a rectangle, a triangle, and a circle. These shapes are all drawn to scale, meaning I've used an actual ruler to draw these out. And all of these shapes have something in common. And what is in common with these shapes is they all have the exact same area. Uh, or, in other words, they all take up the same amount of space. Now, a lot of you guys have probably worked with area before, heard of area before, um, but I think that sometimes it doesn't get explained what area actually means. What area actually means is you've probably heard the space inside of something, which is true, okay? But how it's measured is the part that doesn't get talked about very much. It gets measured in square units, meaning if we were working with inches like we are here, uh, our answer would be displayed in these. How many of these does it take up? Uh, and a square inch just means it's one inch on each side. Now, if we were doing square centimeters, it would be a square, and it would be one centimeter on each side. If it was a mile, it would be a mile on each side, and it would be a square. So when you see an answer to an area problem, let's say an answer to the area problem would be 40 square inches. That means that that answer means exactly what it says. It means that that shape holds 40 of these. Okay, So I'm looking at this and we're not going to talk about how to find the areas yet because that's going to come up next. But I will tell you that every single one of these shapes has an area uh, of 12 square inches. That means that each one of these holds 12 of these. This is, this end part, square inches, this is a square inch. It's really easy to draw with this one, okay? Um, I can actually probably just freehand this and it's going to turn out okay. Uh, I'm going to cut this into uh, inch segments here. And if you can count up, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We've got 12 square inches. So it's not a coincidence. The answer to this would be 12 inches squared, which means that it actually holds 12 of these. Now, you kind of have to visualize the other two because it's not as neat and easy to draw. It's not as neat and easy to draw 12 of these in a circle. And you think, well, they have rounded sides. How does that fit in? Uh, they don't have to be perfect. I mean, they could be broken up and shoved in there and... But a grand total, if you were took everything out and made it into these, 12 would fit into this. Same thing with this triangle. Our answer to this triangle is 12 inches squared. Uh, that means that we can fit 12 of these in here. Okay, And it's, it, it would be easy to start to draw the squares, but once you got up to the skinny part, you would really have to do like parts of squares, which is fine. But in the end, if you took everything out of the middle and put everything together into these, there would be 12. So make sure that when you're doing these kind of problems, you always think about what your answer means. Okay, And labels are really important here because area is a lot different than perimeter. The label for perimeter for this would be 6 and 6 would be 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It would be 16 around the outside. Perimeter is like a straight line distance, like if I was to walk around here. okay. Area actually means how many of these squares can fit inside of it. And remember, it just depends on what kind of unit you're using. Okay, uh, if, if we're dealing with feet, uh, that means we can fit whatever amount of square feet in it. And if you look at the back of the room right now, I've got examples of those squares in the back. I've got the smaller ones, the square centimeters, the square inch back there. I've got the bigger ones. That square foot, if the answer to a question was 50 square feet, that means we can fit... 50 of those that are in the back, the square feet, into whatever it is. Same thing with the square yard and the square meter. Uh, if you've got something that's 500 square yards, that means that we can fit 500 of that shape in the back, that's a yard on each side, 500 of it into the shape. So make sure that you're making those connections uh, as you're answering these problems as to what is the answer to an area problem actually telling me.